Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to learn about how to pass and return an array to and from a function. Let me give you some example to make you understand this. First, let me take the important things that is required for any co-programming language. Let me create an array, call this my ARR. And then the size of it is 5 and the type is integer. Let me initialize it to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let me create a function called the sum of ARR. Let this function going to add all the values in my array. For that, I need to call the function and pass this array. So when I pass this array, my argument is of type array and what should be my parameter type? My parameter type also should be of the same type that is array. So let me create an array of same type. What is the type and uh, size of it? That is int5. So let me create the same type and size of it. Let me create a variable called the sum to add all the values. First initialize it to 0. Let me iterate through the array with the help of for loop. I'll say index is not required for me now. Let me take the value directly. I'll say range ARR. And then I'll say sum assign sum plus val. So when I do this, all the values in the array will be iterated through the for loop. Each and every value will be stored in val. Every time it goes through the array, it takes the value, stores it in val and give it back here. And then I'll sum it. After summing it, I'm just going to return the value. So I'll say return sum. So when I say return sum, uh, since I'm adding all integers, my return type also, uh, my sum is integer and the return type is going to be int. And now here, let me use the print statement to print the value which is getting written. I think everything is good. Let us let me save this code and execute this for you. Let me run the code. I'll say go run function example. So you got 15. What's, what's happening here exactly is that I am passing the array, right? The entire array value is getting passed along with it. And then it's getting stored in the parameter called as ARR, which is of same type. I cannot give a different type. It'll throw me error. So it should be of the same type. Whatever I'm passing here, I should have the same type here as well. And after getting the value and I'm iterating through the for loop and then summing the value and returning it back, right? Let me take a different example where I have two arrays. Uh, one is my ARR1. Let me copy and paste it here. I'll say my error 2 right. Let this values be 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass these two arrays to the function. Add the consecutive values of both the arrays, store it in the third array. Okay, that is what I'm going to do. Now let me say my error 1 and say my error 2. I'm passing two arrays, so I should have two parameters of type arrays there. Let me copy and paste it here. Make sure that you are giving the same type and same size. Don't change it, right? My ARR1 type and size should be replicated in ARR1. My ARR2 size and type should be replicated in ARR2 as well. Now here, um, let me create an array called the sum ARR. And then let me iterate through the array. Now here I am not going to iterate through one array, so let me find the size of it. So I'll say for i assigned 0, i less than, since I know the size of it, I'm just giving 5, and i plus plus. And here I'm going to iterate the loop for 5 times because my size of the array is 5. Some error i assign error 1 of i plus error 2 of i. Now what's happening here is that the 0th index value of error 1 is added with 0th index value of error 2 stored in 0th index of sum error. And from here I'll say return error. So when I say sum, uh, return sum error, what is sum error? Sum error is a array. It's not a normal value, it is an array. So my return type also should be of type array, the same size. Don't give a different size. Again, it will throw error. 
So make sure that you are giving the same size and the same type when you are returning, right? The return type is array integer. So let me save this code. So I missed a semicolon here. Put it again. Let me save this code and run it for you. Let me say go run. So you got 11, 22, 33, 44, and 55, right? So what's exactly happening, right? 10 and 1 is getting added, 20 and 2 is getting added, 30 and 3 is getting added, 40 and 4 is getting added, and then 50 and 5 is getting added, stored in the sum array, and then finally I'm returning the array, right? So we have seen how to pass an array and how to return an array from a function. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any doubts or queries, please comment in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.